right, coming up next, Chevy and Brittany are back with the latest weather and traffic to get you started on this Wednesday. And speaking of traffic, the city is trying to make it easier for residents to get their driver's license. More on the changes now in effect when Wake Up Today returns. With KHON2 weather, Chevy Chevalier. 510 on this wonderful Wednesday, partly cloudy skies, isolated leeward uh, Malka showers. Uh, the weather alerts, we had nine <laughs> at one point yesterday, and today a lot less, just the three uh, small craft advisories for the peak areas, mostly Gardnow waters and windward waters for a while. And there's also a coastal flood statement. Sometimes they put these out when they're expecting a, a chance for isolated minor flooding, and that's all of the coast. Uh, so uh, the cold front is weakening. It's not uh, as easy to distinguish there with the winds. Uh, winds are pretty light overall and the shower activity is still associated with that front. Uh, going to affect the Big Island today. So that thing is slower, even slower than I first anticipated uh, on Monday. But you can see fairly dry conditions there. Your commute should look good, but a couple of isolated showers possible uh, on the leeward side. But we'll take this. This is all now beneficial rain after the problems we had uh, with this cold front earlier this week. But you can see some showers, not nearly as strong. No lightning associated with this, and hopefully that stays the case. But this is terrific rain uh, for uh, the leeward side of Hawaii County. A uh, weak cold front, very weak, but there's cold air behind that. Uh, maybe up uh, mid-70s for your high, so we'll take a look at that a little later, and then a cold front uh, next week. So as you go up the island chain here, you're going to get less and less of a chance for shower activity, and you can see not much, and more sunshine, by the way. Garden now is looking pretty good, uh, partly cloudy today with some isolated showers. More on your forecast coming up. Right now, Brittany has your traffic. Thank you, Chevy. Well, we're going to take a look over from the east side over the Ko'olau's nice alternate routes, the H3, the Like Like, and the Pali Highway, giving you a nice quick commute if you're coming from Kaneohe or Kailua into the Honolulu area. And from Hawaii Kai, we're seeing some nice road conditions also. No incidents to be reported so far this morning, so we'll take a live look over here from the west side. We're seeing a few more cars there on the roadways, a few brake lights out there, but still in the green for the drive times. Not too bad as you're making your way again to townbound direction. H1 Ka'ahumano overpass 
pass very clear and both Moana Lua Freeway Airport Viaduct routes giving you a nice cruising pace into Honolulu this morning. Let's take a look at some of these updated times now for us. We've got 21 minutes from Mililani into Honolulu, about 25 minutes if you're coming from Wahiwa. We've got 14 minutes from Kaneohe, 14 minutes from Hawaii Kai coming into town. And then from the west side, we're looking at about still 45 minutes there from Waianae into Honolulu and from Eva Beach, we're looking at about half an hour. The city is making it easier for folks to get their driver's license. The Kapahulu Road Test Office is now a full-service operation. Drivers who pass their behind-the-wheel exam at that location can now get their license paperwork sorted there. Road tests are available Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on weekdays. You can book an appointment online up to six months in advance. And the Sheridan Road Test Office is closed for good starting last month. Coming up next, the stories you need to know about before you step out the door. And it's a chance to make a difference in the lives of children on Maui. A report from the Valley Isle when Wake Up Today continues. Powered by KHON2 and all of our platforms. Go to KHON2.com and post your opening today. You're watching Wake Up Today with Christina Wino and Sam Spangler. 516 on this Wednesday. Here is today's need to know. Family members have identified the boy who died in a pedestrian accident on the Big Island as 16-year-old Samuel Wary. His loved ones are remembering him as a respectful person with a good sense of humor. The jury selection continues today in the murder and conspiracy trial of alleged crime boss Michael Miskey and associates. At least 14 potential jurors have been excused from the jury pool after initial screening panels. Negotiations between the Hawaii Nurses Association and the Kapiolani Medical Center for Women and Children are set to resume today. Among the union's top priorities, the hiring and retention of nurses. And marine animal specialists want mariners to be extra cautious on the water after multiple whale entanglement reports. If you see an injured or entangled whale, call the NOAA hotline. And Maui Mayor Richard Bisson's weekly disaster recovery meeting at the Lahaina Civic Center is on schedule for today. Last night's meeting in Kula was canceled due to the rainy conditions and road closures. Staying on Maui, 
Today, how to make a difference in the lives of children. Jack Giss from KAOI Radio Group has more. Good morning, Jack. Good morning. Here's the latest from Maui County. Maui Behavioral Health Resources is looking to bring on foster parents for their therapeutic foster care program at Maui Youth and Family Services. The program provides a family home atmosphere for youth ages 10 through 17 with mental health needs or may be experiencing difficulties socially, behaviorally, or academically. The program helps youth who are not able to receive care in their own home but can achieve stability and growth in a caring atmosphere where they can receive parental supervision, guidance, and support with training provided by the staff. For all the details, go to mbhr.org slash foster dash parent dash recruitment. Reporting for May on the KOI Radio Studios. I'm Jack Giz for Wake Up Today. Back to you. Thank you, Jack. Well, just ahead in sports, the UH seniors looking for a strong showing at the PJ Tour Sony Open in Hawaii. And the NFL playoffs start this week, where Hawaii's own Nick Herbig is expecting to play under a big spotlight for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But before we take a break, looking for a new home, here's a quick breakdown of some of the current mortgage rates. With KHON2 Sports, Rob DeMello. How's it going, everybody? On the heels of Chris Kirk winning the century at Kapalua on Maui this past weekend, the PGA Tour's season-opening Aloha Swing continues this week with the first full-field event of 2024, the Sony Open in Hawaii. A rainy start to the week cleared up nicely at the iconic Wailai Country Club in Kahala, where among the 144 players in the field gearing up for Thursday's opening round are a couple of Hawaii high school graduates, and that includes current University of Hawaii golfer Blaze Akana, as the Kamehameha alum will tee off in the 26th running of the event under its current branding. Akana is making his second consecutive appearance, looking to learn from his three-over par performance last January. Uh, I'm really excited. I've been preparing these past couple months since I qualified, and my game's as good as it can be. 
and I'm just excited to perform in front of the home crowd. Now your first rodeo, you've been through this before. How much does that help the nerves, the comfortability of knowing that you've done this before and now let's just try to improve on that? Yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable this year. There's a lot of familiar faces that I've seen last year and kind of know the inside inside scoops of a tour event and it's just a lot more comfortable. Try to embrace the moment a little more and just have some fun out there. It's pretty surreal and I mean, you work your whole life for this. This is where you want to be and um, it's my last year of college and I I want to turn professional after college. So this is this is where I want to be and I, I feel like I, I belong out here. What's the mindset as far as what you want to accomplish here at the Sony Open in Hawaii? At the end of the day, it's just another golf tournament and um, I'm just going to try to stick to my process this week and take it one shot at a time. And you know, I've been I've been playing well in tournaments lately and amateur tournaments, and I'm just going to try to simplify things and uh, just keep doing what I'm doing. Now joining Akana is the other Hawaii golfer in the field. That's tour rookie Kaimo Keys Chan Kim making his card-carrying debut. Tournament runs Thursday through Sunday for continuing coverage. Stay with KHON2 Sports on air and online. As for the University of Hawaii basketball teams, both the Rainbow Warriors and Rainbow Wahine are in Big West Conference action on Thursday. The 3-0 Lady Bows will start a two-game road trip at 3-1 UC Irvine at 4 p.m. Hawaii time, streaming on ESPN+. As for the Bows, they're at home against undefeated Irvine, looking to better their 1-2 start. That showdown is set for 7 o'clock, televised on Spectrum Sports. For previews of both games, be sure to download the KHON2 mobile app. And over in the National Football League, the wild card round of the playoffs will get underway this weekend. We're among the AFC matchups. We'll have the Steelers playing at Buffalo. Now, Pittsburgh features four from Hawaii on the roster with all eyes on rookie linebacker Nick Herbig. As the St. Louis graduate will be tabbed to fill a gigantic void as six-time Pro Bowler T.J. Watt is out with a knee injury. The Kauai native, though, has been solid, posting three sacks, 19 tackles, and two forced fumbles in less than 200 defensive snaps. Um, I, I want to say I was waiting. I just, you know, I had to try and stay ready um, and take care of my role um, in the special teams department uh, with, with, with Coach Danny. I'm um, kind of just kind of being that mental support there for TJ, Alex, and, and MG, you know, because we talk about moves all the time. Like, they'll come out of the game and we'll talk about what they're seeing and stuff. Um, so just, just being there for them in any way possible. I mean, you know, obviously times like this, being ready to step up and, you know, will this team a victory on Sunday. We, we kind of had a bond this whole year, um, and, and I think that they, they believe in me, which I appreciate. You know, a lot of guys are just telling me, hey, we believe in you. Like, it's your time to step up. How this team out, you know, obviously TJ, too, is telling me that. Um, so just having that support from, from a bunch of the guys, especially guys in the room, my coaches, um, you know, I'm just excited. Kickoff between the Steelers and Bills set for 8 in the morning Hawaii time on Sunday for a complete look at all of the Hawaii ties in this year's playoffs, which include Tua Tonga Vailoa, Kaimi Fairbairn, and others. Be sure to download the KHON2 mobile app. There's a look at sports. Back to you. Thank you, Rob. Well, I was cycling through the cameras, and it looks like we have some pretty clear road conditions still out there. No incident over on our H1 thoroughfare, but we are seeing a little bit more congestion if you're coming from Eva Beach. Still not too bad for the drive times, about 32 minutes now if you are coming from Eva. And we'll take a look at some of those other hot spots. Besides that, H1 NY Kelly seeing a few more cars there on the roadways, but relatively clear as you're passing that area. And then from central Oahu all the way into the Honolulu bound direction, it looks really nice and clear as well. So not really seeing too much volume a few more cars on the roadways, but all in the green for the times at least. Well, let's take a look at some of those updated times here. From Y and I, we're bumping up just by a minute, so 46 minutes there coming into town. And then from central Oahu, we've got 20 minutes now, so actually bumped down there by a minute. And then from the east side, we've got 14 minutes, both from Kaneohe and Hawaii Kai. Tough stories of the morning are just ahead. That includes a live report from Chris Latronic. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Brittany. Thank you for the traffic updates. Yes, we're about to see some professional golfers as well as some celebrity traffic here at the Wailai Country Club. We have a preview of day three of the Sony Open in Hawaii. That's next right here on Wake Up Today.
on the 700 Club, Thursday. Stay safe and stay informed with push alerts from the KHO and 2 mobile app. We're working for Hawaii. You're watching Wake Up Today. Aloha. Good morning, everyone. Good, good morning, morning, Hawaii. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back on this Aloha Wednesday. Before we get to your news, let's get a check on the forecast today with Chevy. Good morning, Chevy. Good morning, Christina Sam. Good morning, everyone. Much better uh, today. Partly cloudy skies for most. Some isolated light uh, leeward Malka showers and, and a high of about 80 degrees. Uh, so that was our high yesterday. I uh, got another cold front. A uh, big island showers, by the way, with the cold front. The cold front is still uh, with us, uh, just now coming up onto the northern uh, shores of Hawaii County. Weather alerts. We had nine at one point yesterday. Today, just a couple. Small craft advisory for Kauai waters and um, windward Oahu uh, waters. Also, a coastal flood statement is for all shores. Uh, might be some isolated minor flooding. There's the front in its current location. It is a lot weaker than it was, at least when a couple days ago when it was crossing through uh, the Gardnau and Oahu. But you can see the showers associated with it. Not a lot of yellows and oranges and reds. Uh, no thunderstorms uh, within that. So that's all good news. And hopefully this today will just be a completely beneficial rain shower activity for leeward portions of the Big Island. You could we could definitely use it. We got a lot of beneficial rain out of, out of this cold front. Uh, we have another cold front that's coming tomorrow into Friday. Much weaker, but there's some cold air behind it. Maybe highs only getting into the mid-70s. So as you go up the island chain, more sunshine and uh, less of a chance for showers. Looking good for Oahu and the garden now. More on your forecast coming up in a few minutes. Right now, Brittany has your traffic. Good morning, Brittany. Thank you, Chevy. Well, we're still looking pretty good for our traffic this morning. Not seeing any real hot spots here. A few more cars on the roadways if you're coming from Eva Beach, hitting that Cunia exit, going southbound into town this morning. And a few more cars there from the H1 and Y Kelly stretch towards the H1 H2 merge. But still moving at a really nice pace. Both Moanalua Freeway Airport Viaduct routes very clear this morning and giving you some similar drive times. We're seeing about 46 minutes there from Waianae into town. Besides that, looking a little bit ahead here, we do have some road closures until about Friday. So from 8 p.m. to 4.30 a.m., the H1 Improvement Project is still in effect. So one of those eastbound lanes from Ola Lane towards the Lique Lique exit will be closed. Just be mindful for that if you are driving again at night or early into your morning commute. Besides that, let's take a look at some of our roadways here. Here's that where that little bit of that slow area is, really just the right-hand lane where you're making that exit turn. And besides that, still nice and moving at a steady pace, making your way into town. Let's take a look from the east side over on Kalani on Ole Highway. Very clear there for Hawaii Kai commuters and from the east side from Kaneohe and Kailua. Not seeing any slick road conditions either this morning, so it looks really nice. Let's take a look at some of the updated times. 21 minutes from Mililani into Honolulu now. 15 minutes from the east from Kaneohe and 14 minutes now from Hawaii Kai. That's latest for our traffic. Sam Christine, I'll send things over to you. Mahalo, Brittany. Time is 5.33 now. 17-year-old Richiana de Guzman is back home this morning after being released from Queens Medical Center. De Guzman was shot in the head last summer in Mu'ili and was not expected to live. Last Friday, she suffered a seizure and had to be rushed to the emergency room. Her mother says she had an infection that was partially to blame for the seizure, but she continues to defy the odds, making amazing strides in her recovery. She recently started speaking and has been working on standing and walking on her own at the rehabilitation center. Her attempted murder case remains under investigation. Respectful with a good sense of humor. That's how friends and family are remembering the 16-year-old who died in a pedestrian accident on the Big Island. Family members identified the teen as Samuel Wary. According to Big Island police, Samuel had been walking in the middle of the street when he was hit by a police vehicle. Samuel was a receiver at Hilo High School, and his coach says he was a great athlete. The one thing that stu um, stood out to me was he always had a smile on his face. It's just real sad, you know. So young, had his whole life ahead of him, and yeah, it's just, it's just sad. The officer was placed on administrative leave, which is standard procedure. In a statement, the police officers' union offered its sympathies to Samuel's family. Big Island police have opened a negligent homicide investigation. Jury selection continues today in the trial of Michael Miskey and co-defendants who were indicted more than four years ago on murder and conspiracy charges. Potential jurors are being interviewed one-on-one -on -one for 20 minutes with the defendants in the courtroom. 
Already at least 14 have been excused from the jury pool after initial screening panels in which attorneys from both sides and the judge get to weigh on on whether they should be put on the final panel of 12. Once a jury is impaneled, trial is expected to start within weeks and could last six months, according to the judge. Negotiations between the Hawaii Nurses Association and the Kapi'olani Medical Center for Women and Children are set to resume today. It comes as 96% of the nurses voted yes to authorize the union to call for a strike if needed during the process. Among the union's top priorities, the hiring and retention of nurses will follow up today. It is perhaps the largest charity golf event here in Hawaii, benefiting more than 100 nonprofits while attracting some of the world's greatest golf professionals. Yeah, we're talking about the Sony Open. Our Chris Latronic joins us now live from Wailai Country Club with more. Aloha and good morning, Chris. Aloha and good morning to you, Sam and Christine. Yes, it's one of the biggest golf events right here in Hawaii, right here at the Wailai Country Club. And you can see behind me, they kind of just, we just saw the manicure, this perfect green. This is, this is just the practice green. Turn on some of the lights. They're getting ready for a 7 a.m. tee off for today being the Pro-Am event. Tomorrow is when the real deal happens for the first day of the official professional Sony Open. But to tell us more about it, there's a huge volunteer base here. To tell us about one of the great volunteers <laughs> is Lloyd Yonimura. You probably know him as Molokai Flash. He's been coming here for the past 10 years. So tell me about uh, your experience here at the Sony Open. Uh, it's been a great experience. Uh, I work over in the media center. I have a great boss. Um, I get to talk sometimes with the golfers, not much. Uh, we can't interact with the, the professionals or the caddies, but um, it's been a great experience. I love it. Uh, yes. it's, it's super. <laughs> it is super, and you're super. You tell me uh, the, pretty much the Sony Open doesn't really move pretty well without the volunteer base, so tell me a little bit about that. I don't think anything of this magnitude can go very far um, or very well without the support and the volunteers. I mean, you know, you have the leadership at the top, but if you don't have um, the people underneath in the trenches, so to speak, um, boy, it's, it's, it's hard. Uh, I don't think you can, you can pull something like this off. Yes, yeah, so, and you have to, so if you come here, you see some of the volunteers, especially Lloyd, give them some big aloha. But tell me, you've had some pretty memorable mo moments. Tell me what's uh, some of the most memorable. Um, I started working over at the um, Tournament Champions in uh, Kapalua and well, maybe about 12 years ago and it was a pleasure. I had I was right outside the, the locker room for the golfers and you know some of the golfers Nick uh, I forget his name Nick something and he was a great great person Matt Kuchar. Oh, yeah, yeah, very yeah. personable guy. I mean, you know, I'll, just a great guy. Yes. Just great person right there. Very friendly uh, people friendly um, I had Michelle Wee uh, in a golf cart one time. Uh, yeah. the, in fact, the year she won. Wow. Uh, and the gallery following her, the media that I was working with was just a uh, memorable, super experience. Yes. Can't never forget that. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. amazing. And it's an experience you never forget right here. And you could get tickets to come here today. We'll have more information on our website at KHON2.com for the third day of the Sony Open Pro Am happening today. Tee off at 7 a.m. This is Chris Atronic working for Hawaii right here at the Wildlife Country Club. Sending things back to you. Thank you, Chris. And thank you to Guys like Lloyd, yeah. men and women who really make this event possible. Yeah, the volunteers, when you go out there to the Sony Open when you're at Wildlight, they make the entire thing go, and they're so helpful. So thank you to the volunteers. Yeah. Coming up next, we're working for Hawaii with a live look at your traffic, plus that full Wednesday forecast. And a popular language app says it's using AI to replace some of its employees. Details when Wake Up Today returns.
And now with KHON2 traffic, Brittany Friedlander. Time right now, 5.41 a.m. And we're going to take a look at our traffic cameras because we're seeing a pretty big slowdown already from the H1 Manager's Drive overpass extending towards the H1 H2 merge. We're looking at about now 56 minutes from Waianae coming into Honolulu, so a pretty big uptick there. And then if you're coming from Eva Beach, we're already seeing about 47 minutes. So again, having a big slowdown, no accidents or stalls there to be reported. But after you pass the central Oahu area over on the H1, passing Aea Heights and the Kaahumanu overpass looks really nice and clear. So both Honolulu Freeway Airport viaduct routes are moving at a good pace. So just have to worry about that little stretch from the H1N Waikela towards the merge. Besides that, let's take a look at the updated times for the rest of our areas here on Oahu. 23 minutes now from Mililani into town and from the east side up ticking by just a minute there. 16 minutes from Kaneohe and 14 minutes from Hawaii. We'll definitely update you here on those drive times on AM 1500 on the radio, k 2 News app and k 2com That's latest for our traffic. Christine, I'll send things over to you. Thank you, Brittany. In business, Duolingo reportedly laid off some of its workers to turn more towards artificial intelligence. Reports say the language learning app cut about 10% of its contract workers. Duolingo already uses AI in its app for its Duolingo Max subscription. The AI allows users to have conversations with it and gives explanations for why an answer is correct or not. According to reports, Duolingo will start to use the technology more to review user error reports. 543 right now, coming up, the stories you need to know about before you get your Wednesday started. And we know who won the Golden Globes, but what do movie critics and moviegoers think? We'll take a look at the best reviewed films according to the fans. That's next. From simple gestures to special moments, trust us to make your day unforgettable. Watanabe Floral, bringing happiness to you. You're watching KHON2, working for Hawaii. You're watching Wake Up Today with Christina Wino and Sam Spangler. Welcome back. It's 546. Here is today's Need to Know. It is back to school today for more than two dozen schools on Maui that were forced to close because of yesterday's severe weather. The storm left a vessel grounded in Kihei and homes flooded in Kahului. 
Some lawmakers are questioning Hawaiian Electric's decision on Monday to implement rolling blackouts. The PUC says it highlights the challenges the commission has been facing for many years, which includes aging infrastructure and limited capacity. Honolulu police are investigating two cases of arson after someone started a fire inside several businesses before taking off with stolen goods. The crimes happened last month at the Dillingham Foodland and the Target in Salt Lake. And the Sony Open Pro-Am is happening out at Wai Country Club this morning. Tournament play for the first full field PGA event of the year begins tomorrow. The 2024 award season now underway. And now that the Golden Globes are over, it's time to take a look at the Golden Tomato Awards. Movie ranking website Rotten Tomatoes is celebrating last year's best reviewed movies and TV shows with a 2023 Golden Tomato Awards. The awards are based on the website's tomato meter. Barbie, what you saw right there, the site's best reviewed comedy movie. Oppenheimer, the best reviewed drama. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, which you see right there, won the Best Animated Film, and Air made a slam dunk with Best Sports Movie. Among other winners, Megan for horror films, Taylor Swift, the era's tour in musical and concert movies, Succession for TV drama, and a Reservation do Dogs led in comedy. All right, I saw a couple of those. It's been tough, you know, I got the young kids, tough mm -hmm. to get out to the theaters, uh, so I usually stream everything that I watch these days. Anything that you saw this year that you thought was really good? I was looking at this list right here, and I disagree on Barbie. I, I think I'm one of the few who wasn't really impressed. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't feel so strongly about Barbie. Spider-Verse was good, mm -hmm. and I saw Air. That was actually really interesting. You liked Air. The one about, yeah, did you see that one? I actually saw bad reviews. I haven't seen Air yet. I want to see that. I think uh, that was good. I saw good. some bad reviews for Air, so that's good. I want to mm -hmm. I want to watch that one. I did see Megan, which I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. It got really good reviews after, and it did really well at the box office. But yeah. I got to say, 2023 wasn't a year where I was like, oh, my gosh, this movie slam dunk. Like, you know, in years past, yeah. Top Gun Maverick yeah. right there, or Wonder Woman, boom. You, yeah. you knew this year I really had to look back and think, what did I watch and what was good? Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of mediocre stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we know Chevy didn't like Oppenheimer, so I twice, <laughs> hated it twice. Uh, I really like Barbie. Actually, I saw it a couple weeks ago. I streamed it, um, mm -hmm. and I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, Succession, I know that's a TV show. Loved the final season of Succession this year. And then Beef, the show with Ali Wong, mm -hmm. that was on Netflix. That was incredible as well. Um, didn't see too many movies this year, but uh, yeah, I want to see Air. And I want to see uh, Oppenheimer. I haven't seen that yet. I don't know. Chevy's gonna save. Yeah, I mean, save your I know. Money. I, I trust I'm Chevy's opinion, but I gotta see it. It's Christopher Nolan. I gotta see it. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll check on those morning traffic editions. That's next. But before we take a break, let's take a peek outside to see how this Wednesday morning is starting. Oh, a little bit calm on the South Shore. Nice to see these uh, clear conditions after what we've had the last couple of days. Chevy has your movie review of Oppenheimer in your question today. <laughs> uh, not good. I, you know, I'd give it a 7, 7.2. Uh, I didn't think it was as great as people say. Uh, Barbie, I'm waiting for that to be free. Stream, and I'll watch it. Uh, Oppenheimer, I'd wait till it's free. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, your question. What is the average life expectancy for Hawaii? 80.7, 78.2, 76.8, or 71.9. That means if you're born today, what's the average life expectancy? The answer in your forecast is coming up.
with KHON2 weather, Chevy Chevalier. 552 on this wonderful Wednesday. A lot better weather for today. Uh, looking pretty good out there with the wet and, wet and wild West Oahu cam. Uh, Zephyr cam looking good. Partly cloudy skies. A, a slight chance for an isolated leeward Malka shower. 80 was our high yesterday, so a near normal, but we do have a cold front coming through tomorrow into Friday. I think there's some cooler air back behind that. Nice cool air this morning. 64, dew point 62. You can never go below the dew point with the, with the air temperature, the ambient air te temperature. Uh, in the coolest part of the day is usually an hour after sunrise. We might get down to about 62. Oh, uh, we had nine <laughs> uh, weather service Weather alerts yesterday. Now we're down to two. Small craft advisory for mostly for the Garden Isle waters. Uh, that goes until 6 a.m. Thursday. Same thing, coastal flood statement. Uh, just a chance for some isolated minor coastal flooding. Uh, that's all shores uh, across the state. The front is a little weaker to today. It's a little bit harder to distinguish uh, with the wind pattern over the ocean, but the winds are pretty, pretty, it's calm actually at the airport. Uh, no trades here, <laughs> and probably not going to see those for a while. Uh, the front, actually a little bit uh, farther, you can see where it is on the Big Island. Big Island going to get some showers today, but just some ice. These are great. Any Anything we can get on the leeward side would be fantastic uh, for drought. This whole event, I know we had some problems, but uh, it's going to be beneficial. Uh, we'll see with the, the drought update tomorrow won't reflect these, but it will for next week's. Here's the front. You can see no, not many yellows, oranges, or reds looking good, but uh, a chance for rain. This is terrific to see that uh, across leeward portions of Hawaii County. It's pretty dry. Uh, not a strong call for it at all. It's weak, but some cool air behind it. Nice weekend. A uh, chance for rain next week, a better chance uh, with um, another cold front. Uh, so as you go up the island chain, you're going to see more sunshine and less of a chance for showers. These chances for rain, Haleakala, Hana, that's uh, probably already past. Anything after midnight, uh, it gets thrown into this. Uh, mostly sunny by this afternoon, partly cloudy uh, for the garden now. Looking pretty good. All right, so we're talking about life expectancy. And when you talk about life expectancy, um, I believe it's, if you're born today, that's what they figure out. So I was born in 1970, so whatever that was uh, back then. So you don't get to add years the older you get. Oh. What is the average life expectancy for us here for our state? 80.7, 78.2, 76.8, or 71.9? I'm going to go with B. I'm going to go with A. Mm -hmm. You are correct. Oh. Yes. Uh, we are the best uh, in the United States. Uh, and you can see the, the map here. Pretty green there. The worst is, I believe it's Mississippi. It's way, I think mid-70s. So as far as uh, across the globe, of course, Africa is the worst. Uh, they just, uh, third world countries and all that, not good. Uh, I would say Asian communities, and that's probably why we're, we're, we're so high uh, with our Asian population. But you can see they are the best. Uh, the best, Monaco, 89 Wow. 89. You mentioned that average life expectancy of 89? Wow. Monaco. That's good. Monaco. 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 Okay, okay. Go. I thought it was Okinawa, because I thought, like, Okinawa had a very long life expectancy, but very interesting. Hawaii, I'm not surprised, just because no. we know a lot of kupuna who are still alive, <laughs> living great long lives. And so, you know, in Hawaii, we're surrounded by good healthy foods, good, good weather, good friends. I think all of that attributes to a long life. Less yeah. stress. Yeah more active lifestyle. Uh, but there is, at least in the United States, a big gap between men and women. Yeah. As far as life expectancy Some, goes. Sometimes five to seven years. Women, on average, are, live a lot longer than yeah. men, average. Mm. All right. Very interesting. Thank you, Chevy. Sure. Top stories of the morning coming your way next. That includes a live report from Chris Latronic, who joins us from White Light Country Club. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Sam, Christine, Chevy. Happy Aloha Wednesday right here for Hump Day. We're checking out day three of the Sony Open in Hawaii. Looks like some beautiful conditions. We'll give you a little preview, tell you about the greens as well as the volunteer help as, uh, pro, as well as pro relations. That's next right here on Wake Up Today. Stay tuned.
for Sony Open Week in Hawaii, and we are live at Wailai Country Club. We're working for Hawaii. Wake up today starts now. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back on this Aloha Wednesday, the 10th of January. The sun should finally be out today. Let's get a check on the forecast, finally, without the rain, with meteorologist Chevy Chevalier. Good morning, Chevy. Uh, good morning, uh, Christina Sam. Uh, just because you asked, um, Christine, about Okinawa, this is just a quick internet machine search. Men, 80.27 average, but women, 87.44. Wow. There you go. And may wow. maybe the reason why Hawaii, you know, the life expectancy average is 80, like you had mentioned, mm -hmm. golf. <laughs> right? Yeah. That helps, don't you think? Definitely. Events like the or, Sony Open. It, if you're playing and you're not playing well, it can't hurt. <laughs> it's Blood <true>. pressure is <laughs> <just> way up. <laughs> Anything to reduce the stress. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, as long as you don't get mad about it. Okay, so uh, today a nice day, about 80 degrees, partly cloudy for everybody, except the Big Island. They got that cold front to deal with. It's a little weaker. Uh, looking good out there with the Zephyr Kim, uh, partly cloudy skies. Just some isolated uh, leeward Malka showers, I guess. Uh, you can see uh, from 9. <laughs> Weather alerts from the Weather Service down to two. Small craft advisory for uh, Kauai waters until 6 a.m. Uh, tomorrow. Coastal flood statement. Just the isolated minor flooding possible along the coast. So uh, there's the cold front. A little harder to distinguish this morning with the wind pattern out there, but it's uh, now in the northern tip of the, the Big Island. And you can see not a lot of yellows and reds and no thunderstorms uh, embedded in there. I mean, the, the intensity of the rain will pick up as we go through into the afternoon uh, for the cold front, but uh, not, I don't think it's going to be nearly as bad as what we saw uh, for Oahu. And even yesterday, Maui County actually did Okay, it, it wasn't that bad. So as you go up the island chain, you're going to get more sunshine and less of a chance for rain. Uh, this chance here for Haleakala and Hana is probably the morning shower activity. And just some leeward showers for a change. Uh, how about the trades? When are we going to see those? That's the question I've been getting. We'll talk about that with your forecast coming up here. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the weather uh, on Mount Aloha, right? Uh, the weather system, uh, this cold front brought some snow to Mount Aloha. This is a 24-hour time-lapse video of of Mount Aloha shows a shift uh, at the summit from a sunlit volcanic crater to a snow-covered landscape. The crater was covered in three to five inches of snow and hit with 50 to 60 mile per hour winds and gusts up to 75. Uh, the summit is closed for the week, possibly stretching into the weekend, and backcountry reservations are canceled. So the, that's blizzard conditions, but they stopped issuing blizzard warnings a few years ago. Why? Trust me, I, I work there. You get When you get a blizzard warning in Hawaii, you get across the globe calls shocked that it's snowing in Hawaii. So they kind of wanted to reduce that. So they went to weather, winter weather advisories a little better. It doesn't affect a lot of people. Anyway, <laughs> winter wonderland only in Hawaii, right, Brittany? Awesome. Thank you, Chevy. We're going to bring you back over to our roadways because we're it upticking here in the times right now. We've got Eva Beach already at about 57 minutes coming out of Eva going into Honolulu. And from Waianae, we're up to an hour and nine minutes. No incidents to be reported out there, but pretty heavy congestion. Looks like everyone's leaving out the door a bit early this morning. So we'll take a look at some of these hot spots. It's mostly that stretch from the H1 and Waikele towards the H1 H2 merge. It frees up quite nicely as you're hitting that Waimalu exit right before that Pearl Ridge area. So besides that, that's just the major hot spot if you're coming from west and central Oahu. But besides that, from the east side, we're looking pretty clear with our drive times, and we're still at a really good pace. So pretty wide open traffic, and again, light times there. So let's take a look at some of the updated times. 25 minutes from Mililani into town, 15 from the east, both from Kaneohe and Hawaii Kai. And it does look like we do have a new updated list of some road closures over on Maui that we'll get to on my next report, along with some of those neighbor island drive times. All right, that's latest for our traffic. Christine Sam, I'll send things over to you. Coming up on 604 now. The Department of Education says all public schools in Maui County will reopen today after canceling classes yesterday because of severe weather. Heavy rain and flooding drenching the island from Hana to Kihei and Kula. The stormy weather even grounding this vessel in Kihei. The state tells us the boat's owners are flying in to try and remove it. The county also says repair work will begin on South Kihei Road, which took a beating. There are portions of South Kihei Road that, you know, normal the shoulder missing parts of the shoulder because the, the water is up. West Maui traffic signals were out on the bypass. We had some trees down and some traffic signals out. With another strong front headed towards the state, the DOT says more storm preps are underway. For the very latest on conditions, sign up for weather alerts at kh12.com.
The Public Utilities Commission is speaking out about Monday's rolling blackouts on Oahu. In a statement, the PUC says severe weather highlights the challenges that the commission has been focused on solving for many years. The PUC says it had been in constant contact with HECO after two generators at the Waiau power plant went offline Monday. ECO said rain and clouds also reduced solar energy systems. That left some lawmakers questioning why the blackouts were needed. Blaming the weather, unless there was weather that caused a you know pole to fall down or something, blaming clouds um, doesn't really hold water for me. We're constantly in a mode of evaluating equipment and maintaining it, uh, replacing uh, aging equipment or anything that needs to be in repair. And so that is a continuous scheduled process. The PUC says it is focused on getting new cost effective renewable energy resources and ensuring that the grid is reliable and resilient. Monday's blackouts affected about 120,000 customers across the island. Honolulu police are investigating two cases of arson after someone started a fire inside several businesses before making off with stolen goods. Last month, the fire was started in the paper goods aisle of Foodland on Dillingham Boulevard. Then on the same day at the Target in Salt Lake, HPD says a man used lighter fluid to ignite hangers on a shelf while another man distracted an employee. Authorities say shoplifters are using extreme measures to not get caught. Existences of fires being set after or in the process of committing these crimes is just an escalation um, by the organizations or, and these individuals for a whole host of, of reasons, including to make it more difficult for investigators to gather leads and evidence Officials say retail thefts happen all the time, but according to Homeland Security, the amount of violence associated with shoplifting is increasing. 607 right now, and it is perhaps the largest charity golf event in the islands, benefiting more than 100 nonprofits while attracting some of the world's greatest golf pros. Yeah, we're talking about the Sony Open. Chris Latronic joins us now live from Wailai Country Club with the latest. Alohan, good morning, Chris. Christine, happy Aloha Wednesday. It's a big one, one of the biggest events uh, here in Hawaii, benefiting the economy as well as many nonprofits, and also many of our local golfers. Uh, but to tell us more about uh, the huge volunteer base and how all the relations go is Ian McLean. He is the uh, volunteer chair for Pro Relations. Uh, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Most excellent. Welcome, welcome to the course. Yes. Yeah, so thank you. So been a little bit of rainy past couple of days today. Looking very good. I'm, I'm hoping for great weather. <laughs> Monday was, was tough, but we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. Yes. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about your experience. You've been doing this a long time, right? Uh, 25 years. I, I started off on the course doing the ropes, stakes, the manual labor, and now I handle pros and, and uh, taking care of making sure all their families are taken care of. They're, they're cakey. We have set up cake care, get them from the airport to here, from the hotels here daily, feed them. All that kind of stuff. That's very important, and uh, uh, very important is the big volunteer base. Uh, pretty much the biggest and uh, most of most golf events in general, right? Yeah, yeah. Typically, a, a, a mainland tournament may have 500 volunteers. We have like 1,500 volunteers, broken up three divisions, feeding them, taking care of them, making sure they have uniforms, all that kind of stuff. It's a huge project. Yes, and uh, many prof many uh, notable professionals. Who are the kind of some of the uh, known names that are going to be here today? Oh, um, Matt Kuchar's coming in. Matt's been back. Fitzpatrick, excuse me, who won the U.S. Uh, um, Open. Um, a lot of, uh, I don't know if, uh, there's others coming in, but I just yeah. can't remember all of them. Yes, there's, there's too many. I, I have 150 players to, wor to, to worry about, so it's, it's, it's tough times. Yes, but that's where all the aloha starts. It's yes. uh, taking care of them. And so it's early morning. I saw them gro grooming the green, and it looks like we got some people practicing. Tell me about what's going on right now. Uh, right now, we're getting ready for the Pro-Am. We, we have uh, 44 teams, amateurs playing with the pros. Uh, we start moving them out, getting, getting them here. Uh, they'll be playing from sunrise at 7, they'll, they'll tee off. They'll be finished probably 6 p.m., 6.15. Um, so it'll be a busy, busy day. Yes, and then tomorrow is the main pro event, and this will go all the way through the weekend? Yeah, through the weekend, through Sunday. So tomorrow starts, the, the official the event starts tomorrow. Pros only, and uh, we'll run 144 players. Thursday and Friday, make the cut Friday night, and then uh, the top 65 and, and uh, better will finish the event Saturday and Sunday. 
Okay, that sounds excellent. Ian McLean, thank you so much for everything You're you welcome. do. It doesn't work without him and all of the volunteers. Thank you so thank much. You. And it's all happening right here at the Wildlife Country Club. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful morning. Barely any wind. See stars in the sky. That's a good recipe for some good golfing today. For the Pro-Am with the first tee-off happening at 7 a.m. So come down, get your tickets, come check it out. This is Chris Latronic working for Hawaii right here from the third day of the Sony Open in Hawaii at the Wildlife Country Club. Sending things back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. And then Chris mentioned winds, and we just checked with Chevy. Chevy said today, the winds, the weather should be okay. Yeah, and when it's like that, when it's nice conditions, these pros absolutely rip that course to shreds. Mm -hmm. And so the Wildlife Country Club is not an easy course, but I, in 2017, I saw Justin Thomas, the star on the PGA Tour, he shot 59 in his opening wow, round. Wow, 59. Amazing. Yeah, it shouldn't be possible. And it's very beautiful out there, too. Yeah, I mean, it's still dark, but it's still, you can see it's like very nicely yeah, manicured. It's so gorgeous.